What's up guys, it's Field Eraser and welcome back to Minecraft. Now as you can see behind me, I've got some walls here around some little town that I've helped build. Now, why do I say helped build? Well, I found this town when it was just a lowly little village with just a few villagers inside. And now I've become their mayor and helped to rebuild and reinvigorate their city and now it is a sprawling population of villagers inhabiting quite the nice township. We have Iron Golem bodyguards. There are two of them. We have lighting all around the city. We have a nice custom well, which I came up with. It's not only a well, it's a rainwater collector. As you can see, the rain comes through into this area, siphons down through and drips as clean water into the reservoir which then flows out into the trough here ready for the villagers to collect pretty cool if you ask me leave a comment below if you want me to show you how to build such a thing we also have a nice boat entry in which we can get out go fishing go exploring whatever and come back in safety through the gate it's quite the slow lift up. and yeah, it doesn't work. Never mind. It's still nice to look at. Villagers don't use boats anyway. But yeah, we've got this entire area walled off, fenced off, and livable. Oh, I left the gate open. There we go. All safe and sound again. Don't worry, my friends. Oh, you're trampling the plants, you idiots. I swear, sometimes it's hard work being mayor. So many kids running around. How do I keep them from running under the gate and getting out? I don't. If they get out, it's their own fault. No! No, get away from there! No! Little one! <laughs> okay. Ma'am, you'll have to find yourself another son. Sorry. But yeah, guys, this is my little town. Let me show you around a few of the places that we have built. So here we have a nice little sugarcane farm, and apparently it's also a swimming hole. Nice going. Polluting the, the water. Oh god, that's dirty. Okay, inside here we have, oh wow, it's quite overpopulated, but we have enough beds. See, we have three beds here. Nice little bunk bed set up, and a nice little table area. Get out of my way. And as we come out here, we have a garden stocked with enough to feed everyone in the village. We have many different tradesmen. We have a blacksmith. This idiot is a librarian. We have a butcher. We have everyone. Now, here we have some sort of hall. I think it might be a church. Yeah, they look like they're doing some... Yeah, there we go. There's a priest. And this is the special chest that the priest offers to. It's, yeah, some false god thing and you come up here and you see exactly what kind of scheme this priest is running everything that they offer gets given to him there you go bit of a dose of reality for you guys and here we have a nice lookout area to see the entire minecraft world sun over there still shining bright i think i've got daylight and uh night time uh, the cycle, I think I've got it turned off. Anyways, as we come out of their little fake church there, close this door, so no one else gets misled. <laughs> and come around here, we have the fisherman's house. Now, there's nothing special about the fisherman's house. He does enjoy music though. And here we have the blacksmithing station. A nice little area where you can collect lather. You can collect lava here, you can uh, smith and repair your own swords, you have a furnace to smelt goods, and a nice chest to put lava buckets and uh, little things like that in there. It's funny actually, it's a wooden chest with a lava bucket inside, you'd think the thing had melt by now. And here we have our little animal area for the butcher, he's going to need something to chop up. And we have lots of librarians. See, we're a very civilized and theocratic city. 
Anyway, in here we have... Oh, check it out. The baby's having a bath. Very cool. Get out of there. <laughs> Zipping around. I think I'm going to call you Zippy. Get out of here, Zippy. What are you doing? Children aren't allowed in here. You should be ashamed of yourself. What if that child had drowned? Anyway, guys. Here we have the potion station with a cauldron and a chest to put something in. There's nothing in there now. But we also have a bed to sleep in. As you can see, we have a lot of villagers, so we actually sleep in shifts. And it is night time now. No wonder everyone's inside. They're all cowards, so they all hide inside whenever it's night time. I don't know what they're afraid of, but we have a well-lit city with two big bodyguards. And <laughs> check it out, they're all having a shindig there out on the back patio with the plants. In here we have just another house. I think this is the house I showed you before. Anywho, as we come out here, we have the front veranda with another little garden. And you can see more about the landscape. Anyways, headed back inside. You know what? I think I need to light up some of these houses. Yeah. Let's give these guys a little bit more lighting. We wouldn't want anything bad to happen to them. Yet. Oop, did I say yet? Sorry, guys. <laughs> and let's put that there. And we'll put that there. We'll put a, yeah, we'll put a torch at every entrance. But yeah, the library should definitely have some more. Library slash school slash orphanage. As you can see, we have many beds. Orphanage. Not that any of the parents have died. No, I don't want to kill any parents. And there we go. Just light up our town. Let our light shine. And this gate here. And what? Get off the wall, skeleton. Whew, that was a close one. And we'll put a light outside this house. And over here at the last gate. Boom, boom. Alright. Our city is safe. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to bed. No, I think I'll sleep in here. Everybody keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. Okay, it's morning time and everyone is ready to start the day. And was that, was that an Enderman? Get out of here, fool. Stealing our blocks. What, what did he take? What did he take? Did you see what he took? What did he take? Oh, you guys are useless. What are you anyway? A farmer. Some farmer you are. I had to plant all the crops. Alright. You're supposed to be watching for Endermen and mobs. What were you doing, huh? You useless. Hey, you're back! Hey, little guy. <laughs> One of our children has returned. Yay! He's a good kid, too. He knows how to close the door behind him. Yeah, you stay out here where it's safe. Alright? All you kids, stay there. So, there you have it, guys. My very own little village. Safe and populated and sprawling with life. Little baby villagers running around, playing tag, and getting into mischief. We have many different tradesmen, and we have massive walls around us to protect us from the many different evil mobs. That's it for today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'm the Field Eraser. If you like this video, make sure you let me know below in the comments section, and if you have any idea of what I could do to this sprawling city of villages, make sure you let me know once again in the comments below. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.